Hey guys, Andy here. So to be honest, I didn't see much of the hype about the Mi Mix 3. Um, it's kind of been as almost an impulse buy. I couldn't tell anything about the original Mi Mix, which I assume there was, or the Mi Mix 2. It's just, it's not a phone I'm familiar with at all. But there is a bit of hype around it because of the slide action, but we're gonna to get to that in a moment. So Xiaomi, been quite an interesting um, sort of story for them this year. You may not have heard of them, but they're the fourth largest phone or well, mobile phone manufacturer in the world, according to Wikipedia. And a month or two back, they basically said, right, well, now we're coming to the UK or Europe, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but previously, they were kind of all about China and India. They're the biggest phone manufacturer in China or supplier or whatever. And I think the second biggest in India. That's a huge, big market. So they didn't really need Europe or even America. Um, but I think they've now said, all right, we're going to spread into Europe. So you can actually buy Xiaomi phones from UK providers. So I bought this one from eBuyer, actually. Now, I used to use eBuyer, I don't know, 15 or 20 years ago when I used to build my PCs, and I still build my PCs, but that's when I used to buy from them. And I've, I've got an account with them, and I haven't used it in years and years and years. And the three places you could buy this, uh, the, the Mi Mix 3 from on launch was Mi's own website, uh, Amazon and eBuyer. Now, I went to Mi's own website and I, I actually I bought it, I paid for it and everything, and then I said, oh, five to seven days for delivery. Uh, okay. Then someone pointed out there's other places selling next day delivery, like Amazon and eBuyer. Amazon, they must have sold out already because it was saying like two months for stock. And then eBuyer, so well, okay, I'll buy it from eBuyer, why not? Um, and they had for five pounds was a next day delivery to a collect plus uh, collection point or just £10 regular next day delivery. Well, I thought, well, £5 from a collection, but that's quite handy. I don't have to worry about staying in at home or all that kind of stuff or having my headphones on and not hearing the door or something. I can just go and pick it up when it, when I'm ready. Um, and to their credit, I forget what time I ordered it, I don't know, two or three o'clock yesterday afternoon. Um, I got a text at two minutes past nine this morning saying it's ready for collection. That's pretty good. Um, so off I've been, I've been to the gym and I've been to pick it up and here it is the world's largest smartphone box. There's not particularly a lot going on about it either. We can see here that it's a six gig, 128 gig uh, version, six gig RAM. So there we go, it is quite a nice, but oh, it's, it's textured, it's kind of, I don't know what you'd call that. Can you see it's kind of, maybe you can hear that. So as with a lot of my unboxings, if it's not a phone that I've can, almost can't avoid, I try and go in quite blind. So as I was at the gym and I'm watching YouTube before, um, before hitting the weights uh, on, on the exercise bike, YouTube's offering me different videos and two of them were, were videos about the Mi Mix 3. And I almost pressed one of them and I thought, no, I don't want to, I want to, I prefer to go, I suppose I go back to my Galaxy S2 unboxing, which some of you will comment in the comments below. Yeah, that's where I saw you because it had a million, well, over a million views. Um, I think that was so popular because of my reaction, like, oh my God, this is amazing. And if, if you know a bit about it and someone's already said, or someone else has already given that reaction, it wouldn't be a genuine reaction for me, I suppose. Um, so I prefer to go in not knowing, and this is one of those sort of quite unique devices. I am actually looking forward to doing this unboxing myself. A lot of the phones, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of them that I get, I'm not overly bothered. It's like, you know, it's, okay, there's a new whatever, whatever. Let's have a look here, it's interesting. but. They're much the same as other devices. This is a very different device, I think. I've never had a slidey, a slidey phone before, I don't think. Um, so I'm really, really interested to, and also me, Xiaomi, this is, uh, I don't know if I said, this is 500 pounds. Now Xiaomi are quite well known for being sort of the budget end of things. Um, I did the Mi A2 Lite video a month or so back. That was a 130 pound phone, but it's pretty good. What can Xiaomi do with a 500, 500 pound phone? I mean, that's kind of, I mean, that is sort of top end for them, I think. I don't think they do many that are that much more. I don't know, I don't know Xiaomi inside and out. Um, but 500 pound is definitely up the top, uh, upper end of their scale. So, here's the unveiling. There it is. I don't know what I was expecting, but that is, it is a massive box. And then the phone is just that little bit in the middle. Right, so let's tip that out. So first impressions, that's, it's quite heavy, so I think it's 219 grams, 218 grams, which is a reasonable weight, but not crazy. Um, but it, I mean, it does, it feels solid. There's nothing that's kind of vibrated or shook. I mean, that's the other thing. If it slides, I was kind of concerned. I always remember, was it the Desire Z? I felt that, that rattled and shook and just 
the build quality I thought was terrible. It just, that one just sticks in my mind as a phone that was a little bit different and it just didn't hold together as a solid device. This feels solid right now. Can I, I'm gonna try, can I slide the, oh, oh. That is quite nice. Cause it's got a snap to it. Ah, oh, that is fun. <laughs> that is, that just feels surprisingly good. It doesn't feel loose, it feels a solid, um, I don't know, just, well, I mean, I don't know if how well you can kind of get the grasp for it, but let's have a look at the side of it as we do it. If That feels really good. Right, I'm going to put the phone aside for a second, though. Let's just double check. I mean, why is this box so massive? So that's, okay, that's quite thick in itself. What have we got here? I'm actually not going to bother. Me, I didn't realise, it says on on uh, Wikipedia how correct it is. Me is, is so-called because of mobile internet. Because it is a mobile first company. Oh, I did see someone in the box. It read, um, hang on. Oh, I smacked the camera. It says something there about wireless charger. And to be honest, the text was so small I couldn't really. Well, that's quite a nice looking pad. Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead and make an assumption that the device has a wireless charging. So here we go, a Xiaomi device with a UK three pin plug. So yeah, that, that doesn't feel that doesn't feel great quality. A little QR code there on the plug. And I can't quite see at this point how many how many watts that kicks out, but we'll come back to that. And it is as you can see from the cable USB type C, which I mean, you kind of, if it didn't in this day and age, I'd have almost sent it back. Um, let's leave all that back in its box. So let's, there's the power on the side. Let's, let's get it fired up. You can see some specs on the front there 6.39 inch full screen display. Let me see if I can check the Super AMOLED. Which again you'd perhaps expect from a top end device which wow that was quick miui 10 okay i'm not sure how i feel about that just yet so i just skipped ahead a bit and then the uh, i was getting interrupted too much with the setup so i've sort of finished the setup um i do need to get a few things installed but actually maybe i'll maybe i'll come back to that and we'll we'll, we'll separate again for a, so i just want to get through the specs i was trying to talk about the specs so it is 218 grams i think i mentioned that already so it's a reasonable weight, but it doesn't feel that heavy, to be honest. Uh, dual SIM or nano SIM dual standby. I need to check exactly when I get into the SIM tray slot to see what that says. Super AMOLED 2.39 screen, we've mentioned that. Uh, 2340 by 1080, 403 pixels per inch. And it, I mean, it looks, that actually looks a really good screen. It does look a very nice screen. Um, Corning Gorilla Glass 5, HDR, Android 9.0, Qualcomm Snapdragon 845, uh, which is an octa-core, 4x2.8, Cryo 385 Gold, and 4.1.7, 4 times 1.7, Cryo 385 Silver, with an Adreno 630. Now, technically, a lot of those specs are kind of getting quite old now, because we're coming around to the 855, I believe, Snapdragon. Um, so they're kind of eight or nine months old, but they are still the best that's available on the market. Um, da -da 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 -da. So yeah, dual 12 megapixel cameras on the back, f1.8. Uh, what's the front? And it does do 4K video, yep. And it will do 1080p at 960 frames per second. What was the phone I did? The Sony Xperia XZ3, perhaps that I think was the first phone where it does 1080p super slow mo. So this, or the first phone that I know of. So this now is the second phone that I know of that will do 1080p super slow mo. So that's quite impressive. Uh, mechanical pop up 24 megapixel uh, front facing camera. Mechanical pop up 2 megapixel depth sensor. That does 1080p. So it's got Bluetooth 5.0, A2DP, obviously. AptX, good. Aptex HD, in fact, um, NFC it's got, we know it's got Type-C 
So USB, it's got a fingerprint sensor, rear mount, we know about that, we know it's got wireless charging. It's got a non-removable Elite Ion 3200 milliamp hour battery. That's not a particularly big battery, so it'll be interesting to keep an eye to see how that fares. Um, so that's kind of all the specs. So I'm going to stop again for a moment just so I can install a few bits and pieces. And we can have that. actually looks quite stock Android, doesn't it? That's interesting. Okay, let's have a quick look at the settings. Xiaomi, they generally overcomplicate their settings, and I find it very hard to find things in there. Um, let's have a quick look, though. So, oh, it's put Nova Launcher on already. Good. Um, start fresh for the minute. We can always import. There we go. So now we're getting an even more stock like experience, which is always nice. I want to see what happens when I. Does it automatically or that's fine. Peel off that cover. Remember photo locations, fine. And there we are. Hello. Um on, let's take a quick. So not too bad a sort of uh, and what happens do we don't do we have face unlock? What happens if I just slide it with this? Okay. And so which was the, oh, so power button, volume rockers on the one side. Oh, look at that, that is quite nice. MIUI 10, initial initial opinions, looks quite good. And it looks like, will it rain today? There's a good chance of rain in Barnet today from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. with a break at midnight. Well, I've got two, that's not good, is it? Um, it's very snappy and quick. Camera opens very quick. Wow. I have to say, I'm impressed so far. It's got its own Google Assistant button. It's got a very nice feeling snappy up. It's slick and smooth. The screen looks fantastic. There's no notch. There's very small bezels. It is looking a good device. Um, and that's why I don't know, I can't really put my finger on what it is about that sort of colour and, and almost the design of the back. It's almost like it's got one of those clear cases on it. So, what I'll do, um, I'll get a few bits installed, like Geekbench, for example. We'll have a listen to the speakers. I'll nip outside, I'll take a quick couple of photos and a little bit of video. Um, I'm aware I'm dragging on a bit already, so I'll be as quick as we can. Right, so I've got a few bits installed. I've been outside taking a couple of photos and bits of video. Um, in fact, let's start there. So the camera app itself is reasonably sort of stock looking. It's quite funny. I, I switched around to selfie cam, and it, I was like, well, "Where's, where's the, where's the bit?" Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the, so the app there's you can just filters. There's all sort of bits and pieces. There's a night mode, which obviously where the night mode they go right at the end which I'm not really gonna have a chance to test, obviously, until, until later tonight. There's manual mode. I think, so in the settings, it gives you an option to save the original, so I guess that means it's saving raw. I'll do a bit of, I'll do a bit of testing at some point. Um, but yeah, so I took a few photos. Let's start, I took a portrait photo of myself, obviously, which I thought, it looked okay, it looked reasonable. It seemed to do quite a good job of blurring around, around my head. Um, no obvious, sometimes it blurs into the air a little bit or something weird like that, and it didn't seem to do that, so that seemed that seemed pretty good. Then the sort of the standard photo of, of the back garden area um, generally looks pretty good, even when you zoom in, yeah, it's a reasonable shot, it's, it's, I would say good, I don't know, I'd go as far as great, because there's not much definition in the clouds in the sky, but then to be fair, looking out the window now, I don't think there is much definition in the sky and the clouds, so that's a reasonably accurate picture perhaps. Um, picture. This was actually quite a hot, tough photo. I was facing right into the sun, taking this picture down the alleyway, and I thought he did a pretty good job with that. He didn't sort of overexpose it. Um, the sky's a little blown out, but again, the, the sun was right there, so I thought that was pretty good. And then round to the front, and again, I think that's quite a good photo. The sky, you can see some of the clouds. It looks like, is that a, like a line of a plane that's flown through or something? Um, the colours, I would say, are quite realistic. They're quite natural. I, th I thought that's a pretty good job. And then onto the video, I <laughs> I threw the I threw the bin in there just kind of to give a bit of colour, basically. 
but again the colors look quite natural as we go from the, the dark shadow to the bright sky it seems to deal with that quite well image stabilization does a reasonable job generally that's not bad i would say i mean obviously i'm going to do more in-depth testing i'll do some stuff in low light i'll do some stuff at night and i'll learn a lot more over the next couple of days as to how good the camera really is but it's definitely not an issue which i guess you would expect from a top-end phone but xiaomi i don't think i've ever really been strong in the camera department so we'll see how that goes um i set up fingerprint unlock that works fine let's go straight into Geekbench 4. Now I'll say that actually let's go straight into it. Geekbench 4 is quite slow, so actually I'm going to edit this bit. I'm going to, not going to make you watch it go from 0% to 100%. Um, so we will come back in a moment with the result. So there we go. We're back with the result. 8,745. Kind of what you would expect from a Snapdragon 845. Uh, memory 5.5 gig it says in fact. A little weird. So that's that. Uh, so let's go to YouTube and let's see how the speakers are. So I assume those are the speakers firing out of the bottom. Um, I don't really know what we should pick here. Let's, all right, let's just go Mortal Kombat 11 trailer. Got a pinch to zoom to fill the whole screen. So I think that screen does look very nice. Well, let's just double check what uh, here. Let's check the volume now. Let's try and find a different different video. So the screen, the screen looks good, um, even very good. The speaker or speakers, I don't know. You can definitely you can tell it's just firing out of the bottom of the phone there, which might take a little bit of getting used to for me because I'm used to the stereo speakers these days. But they sounded okay. I'll do more testing. I've got my sound meter. I've got my light meter for the actual screen as well, so we'll see how bright that gets. Um, so I think that's all really that I wanted to take a look at at this point. And I have to say, I'm really impressed. Um, I do love the whole, I didn't think I would love the whole sort of full screen thing as much as I do. That's really nice. The feel of the, of the slide up. That's surprisingly good. Um, I do quite, I quite like the, the Google Assist button. It's a nice design. I like the sort of color and the look. I'm really impressed. I'm going into a little secret. I have been wondering if I've got the right phone. So regular views will know I have the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. And I do really like it. Technically, it's an amazing phone. It does so many things so well. There's something about it, though. I'm, I'm not in love with it. And I think, I think to an extent, I was in love with my 2XL, my Pixel 2XL before that. And it just does make me think. And I think it's a software. I think Huawei's got too many little little chinks in their software that don't work properly like notifications on always on display now i don't know if you notice was about to go off anyway i found in the settings you can have always on display um you've got lift to wake you've got double tap to wake um i love all the bits like that and it looks like they do notifications properly on this one on the me on the Mi mix 3 whereas they just don't do you know, I just don't see notifications on, on the Huawei. We're going a bit off track, a bit sidetracked. Well, I should keep it about this phone, but I'm just saying, actually, I'm so impressed with this. I don't know, we'll see how I get on with it over the next four or five days, because I think that's when you really get to know. It's very easy to be wowed initially by a certain few things, 
and maybe over time that's when you start noticing the little niggles so if you haven't already please do subscribe because I will be telling you about those niggles in a week or so when I get around to doing the review video um, is it as good as I feel like it is because I, I think I've been here before I think I've been in unboxing videos going this is amazing and then when I use it for a few days I kind of go all right let's just let's take a breath and let's take a look at this properly um, but early early indications are I'm liking this phone so subscribe if you haven't let me know your thoughts in the comments down below am I getting a bit carried away is this really this good a phone um, what do you think about the sliding feature what do you think about the photos that are shown um, any other comments you might have I do read them all I promise you I reply if I think it's necessary um, so yeah let me know what you think but for now my name's Andy I'll catch you all again soon Well done and thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe. Um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also come and have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or requests for me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.